right, you guys, as you can see, I am at Joanne's. Let's go inside and see if my location is a code orange. Code orange, Halloween is here. All right, you guys, I am at Joanne's and they do have their full halfway to Halloween collection out. I am so surprised stores are doing this. I feel like all the stores are going to be coming out with all their product earlier than years previous. And that is just really exciting for all of us Halloween lovers. Um, but the thing I do not like about them coming out with their decor super early is that it's going to go away faster to make room for the next seasons. Now this particular line at Joanne's, some pieces were very familiar to me and some I feel like I hadn't seen before, like this light up moon. I really like that. But some of the pieces I feel like were from their last collection and there's a lot of similarities. So needless to say though, I am excited that a few stores have filtered out some spooky Halloween decor. And you guys, the line at Joann's is already 40% off. You can stack coupons. All you have to do is down download the Joann's app and they have a bunch of coupons that you can stack with your purchase. So I did make a purchase today and I will be showing you at the end of this video what I did go ahead and buy. Um, when Michaels came out with their Halloween decor, I didn't end up buying anything, but I did buy a few things today. Now, I believe this collection is called the Witchy Disco Ball Collection. I'm going to have to look that up and double check, but I like that they did have some disco ball items. It's very summery. I like hanging or having a disco ball item somewhere in your house because when the sun hits it, the reflection does like an iridescent crystal effect on your walls. It's really, really pretty and I really like it. Now these moon um, ceramic dishes, you guys, um, I wanted this so bad last year and it sold out and it's back. So my location had a whole bunch of them. So you know I went ahead and grabbed it. I was kind of surprised it wasn't as durable in person as I thought it was going to be because I only saw it when other people showed it, but needless to say, I still really like it. And I went ahead and snagged that up because I wanted it so bad. So again, at my Joann's, the aisle was fully stocked. It was kind of hidden. So when you walk in your Joann's store, it's not in an aisle that is right out front. It's kind of behind their summer decor, which I guess is understandable because it's not Halloween season, but I again love the idea that all of the stores are listening to us when we want our Halloween decor sooner. This cute little moonlight does light up as well. I show you what it looks like. I thought it was really cute and it would light up really nice on a shelf for a cozy spooky night watching all of your spooky movies that you love. I love the color too. I thought it was really, really cute. This guy I feel like I've seen before and I've also seen something similar at the at-home store. And these potion bottles are definitely from last season. I do remember seeing these. Um, so they have definitely brought those back. This um, little disco ball is so cute. You could put those in like a dough bowl and do something really cute for summertime. I think a bunch of those in adobe would be very, very cute. Or even on your windowsill would be really cute and get that sun sparkling on it. Now this little moonlight I almost did buy last year. This is from last year. I love the way it glows. Um, I was getting pretty confused about it because I like the moonlight I showed you in the beginning but I really like this one too. I think it is very, very cute. That was another popular item that did sell out pretty quickly last season. And I wanna say I've seen this light before too. Correct me if I'm wrong. This collection is definitely more of a summer witchy, I don't even, well, 
kind of an apothecary vibe. I do like this disco ball half moon mirror. These candlesticks look familiar from last year. Again, like I said, a bunch of similar items. You're going to see me in a few minutes. I do believe that I wave in the mirror. You will see I do still wear a mask. That is because my immune system is compromised from being on oxygen due to the lovely COVID pneumonia I caught um, three years ago, and I'm still on oxygen. I just learned some news from my pulmonary doctor a few days ago that he's saying my lungs are getting weaker, which is kind of hard for me to hear. But I guess it's partially my fault. I need to move around and exercise those lungs. And sometimes, you guys, it's just really hard to breathe. So with it being spooky season, it's going to help me be more active. I try and stay out of the stores more in the winter time because of colds and flus and everything. So, but I definitely need to start exercising and strengthening those lungs. My doctor did want to put me on steroids. If any of you have any experience with taking steroids, please let me know because I'm honestly really scared of it. I really like this moonlight. I thought that this was also very cute. I light it up and I'm pretty sure that I show it a couple times because I backtrack. Um, I just want to make sure that I show everything. So I do go back over everything a few times. I was just so excited to see everything. You guys, I think this is going to be a huge spooky season with everything coming out so early. Um, I, I do also kind of feel like they are going to have more items, more availability. This particular skull that lights up with the red iridescent glow, this was from last year. You could put a fake plant on the top of it. That would be really cute. Um, and hang it up on your front door or something for spooky season. I really liked that. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just going to back over go back through and kind of show things again make sure i didn't leave any everything i can't talk you guys make sure i didn't leave anything out um and i hope you are enjoying this video and i hope you are excited about spooky season like i am so what do you have your eyes on so far in the spooky collection what do you think that you are most interested in and in going to check out and purchasing? There's a few items that I think are very, very cute. I feel like they could have maybe put not so much the same stuff out as last year, brought out a little bit of a newer collection. I kind of feel like these are some of the leftovers from last year they're trying to get rid of. And they were like, hey, let's add some extra items and call it a halfway to Halloween collection. So I feel like they could have done like a better spoof and added a few more summery spooky items. Just my opinion. These pumpkins also light up. I think I'd go over this light again. Yes, I did. So this is just, again, backtracking footage making sure that you see it all and there wasn't like i felt you know that feeling when you're in the store and you're recording when it's really busy spooky season and you feel weird recording well there was like nobody around i literally had this entire aisle to myself the whole time and then when somebody walked did walk by the end of the aisle i felt weird because they would look and be kind of give me that look like, what are you doing? <laughs> so you guys get it if you're, if you record and make spooky videos as well. And if you do as well, I would love to invite you to my channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as it really helps my channel out. I'm trying to also do this YouTube channel to keep me motivated, to keep me healthy, to have a hobby. And I love spooky season. I'm an October girl. And I just love it so much. All right, you guys. So I wanted to give a little haul on today's what I got at Joann's. And I will start out. I did go ahead and get this cute, adorable moonlight. 
absolutely love it. It was originally $29.99 and let's see, what did I pay for it? Everything was 40% off. So I got it for $15.64, not too bad. And then the Moon Skull Face Box was $24.99 and I got it for $13.03. And it's a cute little box. Now I was a little bit short. You had to spend $35 to stack a coupon. So I did go ahead and get these margarita towels. Again, practical magic, have to have a margarita. It's summertime and the margarita towels were, what did it say? They were $7.79 and I, no wait, they were $12.99 and I got them for $5.20 and I got two of them. So just a small little haul I wanted to share with you. I really like this light. I'm going to put it probably somewhere above my desk. I will show you when I do that, but I just think it is really, really cute. I decided to go with this one because it can be summery or spooky. I just liked it because of the leaves and the flowers on it and whatnot. So that is what I got. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to hit that subscribe and like button as it really helps my channel out. I try and post everything ahead of everybody else. So um, I'm usually right on about posting when stores come out with stuff. I'm pretty active going in and out of the stores a lot during spooky season so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out and I am going to be starting a paranormal series with my paranormal group and that is kind of exciting for me so make sure you are subscribed for that so until the next one happy I guess I can say it and it's what I always say during spooky season Instead of haunting, I mean hunting. So happy haunting for hunting. Uh -huh.